Hello everyone, it is Wolfstrike150 again, and we are back to the final episode of the Let's Build a Lake House from Grand Theft Auto V in Minecraft. And in this episode, basically what we're just going to do is do a little bit of outside exterior work, such as a pool, and, you know, I'm just going to try to make it look somewhat nice. Before we get into that, um, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading a lot lately. The reason for that is I'm getting Michael's, Michael's house is actually done right now. It's, it, I think it looks really awesome. And, uh, you guys can expect it to, the first episode of Let's Build Michael's House to be out very soon. I'm very excited on doing that. And I hope you guys find it helpful. But without further ado, let's get into this build. Um, what I'm wanting to do here is to actually get out like a pool. Well, I want a pool design, and um, looking at the picture now, I'm kind of got to decide on how I want to do this pool. This pool is gonna is a little bit weirdly shaped, but we're gonna see what with um, let's see how we can do this. And I'm thinking maybe I might want to start the pool. I'm just gonna make a little incision here. And then I'm just going to see how this goes. Um, just kind of make it a little bit rounded. I guess this is basically what I'm going to be doing here. Um, and now just to like round it off a little more. Just start gradually decreasing it this way. And that's going to give it a little bit of roundness to it. And I guess, I guess that'll be fine. It I don't want this to be an extremely large pool, but yet not a very small one either. Um, this um, roundness is going to start to come in. It's just going to kind of duck in like this a little bit. So, and then it's going to be like, like this. Just kind of move in like this. Uh, I'm not really going for anything specific. I, I guess if I had to have. I mean, it kind of looks like a bone. Not really, but kind of, I guess. That's kind of what I'm going for here. Um, a lot of pools seem to be in that kind of bone shape. So, yeah, that's why I'm going to do it this way. And, you know, just to make it, I'm just going to make it connect in the end. Uh, I think, I think, yeah, that looks fine to me. Looks pretty nice, solid uh, pool design here. The good thing about that, Good thing that I made this elevated above ground is I'm only gonna have to delete this one layer of grass. Um, bad thing is like I'm just gonna have to do like the bottom of the pool, which is no big problem. Um, I'm gonna try to make this related somewhat to the lake house, and you guys may not know what lake house I'm talking about whenever I say lake house from Grand Theft Auto V because I'm not even. Like, you guys may not even be aware that there's really a lake up. But, um, this lake is actually up in the hills. I've said that before. Um, if you look on your map, there is a big, or just in like a medium-sized lake. It is pretty big up there. Uh, it's got some really high-class houses up there. If you've ever been up there, it's really nice. I know there used to be, or there probably still is, it's, it was like a launching glitch with the gates up there. It's, it's one of those houses down there, it's got a fountain in front of it, and it's got a pool in the back with a diving board. I think it's like the only one that does. And that's what that's basically what I'm going off of here. Um, I'm not saying that it's an exact replica, I'm just saying that it's my own version of it, as I always do. Um, Michael's house, you know, I'm going to try to be as dead on accurate as I can. and. I'll go a little bit in, into detail. Um, I've had some of my friends come onto my world and give me suggestions for what I can do for detail. Like, for instance, like green juice. How like a lot of the main characters have like green juice on their uh, tables or whatever in the kitchen. Um, I had one friend suggest to me like use like a flower pot and then like a cactus is the green juice and then another flower pot next to it, and that represents the um, the cup to drink it with. And it's a it's a it's a neat idea. I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a lot of the um, design up to you. And I just put sand there for some reason. A lot of the design is gonna be up to you guys. I'm just gonna build up 
foundation of the house, get the house done. And... See, Michael's house is going to be weird and how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start it by like, um, I'm going to start it on the exterior part of it. Just because, like, I'm going to say this, Michael's house, it's very big. It takes up a lot of space and, um, it's, it, it really does take, it's a spacious area that takes up kind of a lot of, quite a bit of the Minecraft map on Xbox 360. I mean, I'm not talking like insanely big, it's just like a big house, you know, it's a, it's a mansion, it's kind of what you expect out of it. It's got a lot of land, like most, more land than really a house. <clears throat> but you guys will see what I mean. Now what I'm trying to decide here is how deep I want this to go. I'm thinking that maybe you can go down one more and then I'll put the floor in. That I think that'll be fun. I think I'll use like light gray wool as I always do for like the bottom of the pool. It's kind of cool making things like on the hills. I like making houses in the hills. The only thing I'm, I'm not too great at terraforming, uh, making like mountains and hills by myself. I can do them if I put my mind to it, but um. I don't know. I'm usually not that good at making it look natural, I guess I could say. Uh, I, I know people that are great at, it, great at it, I'm just not that great at it. I'm great at looking at pictures and building things, <laughs> I guess, that I can say. Um, yeah, light gray wool is going to go in for this floor. This floor plan here. But yeah, like I said, um, you know, Michael's house is coming, coming up. I know a lot of you are really just, just, I guess, um, you know, you're just ready to uh, meet, see me make Michael's house. A lot of you want Michael's house in your world, I am sure. It's a really nice mansion, and it, it looks really cool in my world. And hope, you know, hopefully it's going to be a really great addition to yours. Um, if you've already made it before, like maybe. I don't know, for some reason you might want to make it again. Like I said, I, well, there's been people on YouTube who have made his house before. They didn't give a tutorial, and that's mainly what my channel, that's where my channel comes into play, that's what I bring to the table, is tutorials. That's kind of where, where my channel shines, is Minecraft tutorials. And, you know, I do have fun with like adventure maps and GTA. None of my adventure maps go really that smooth because adventure maps usually take some time to do. And the thing with the adventure maps is I normally like to do them with friends. And it's hard to get my friends on to Minecraft. Like sometimes I'll start an adventure map and you know my friends either won't want to do the adventure map or um, they're not ever home to do it. And I got certain standards for when I can record. So that becomes a problem with adventure maps. So I might just scrap the adventure maps idea, but who knows, it, it really depends. I really want to get a recorder um, uh, sometime in the future so that like, you know, it's gonna make my life so much easier whenever it comes to recording things. Um, uh, it's just something that I really want. Um, you know, who knows, Some maybe sometime in the near future I might get the capture card that I want. And you guys can obviously tell that I don't use a capture card. It's clear as day, and I don't have much of a problem with that. I hope you guys don't have much of a problem with that. It's temporary. Um, I just said that really weird, sorry guys. Sometimes I, some words I just kind of, you know, everyone's got that word that they can't say. And sometimes I just stumble over my words. But yeah, it's it's just what I got right now is what I got right now, and you know maybe when it, whenever my channel grows or if my channel grows in the future, you know hopefully I'll get something much better. That's looking towards the future. We are in the present right now, and you know, we're gonna do what we're gonna do. Right now, up here, this is just where I'm adding some bricks in. We're actually gonna put some um, brick slabs over this when I, after I get like the pool filled in. Usually pretty fast at this. 
And, 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 like, if you guys, you know, hope, you know, this isn't going to become a problem, as you know, like, I do a lot of stuff off camera, so, you know, I'm going to fix, like, terraforming as far as that goes, so you don't, yeah, it, it might be coming to the edge of the grass for me, but, you know, it, 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 it's not going to stay that way, so. Um, I usually like to use glowstone to, um, put, like, on the layer below where I'm going to put the water. Glowstone is really easy to see, depending on your floor material. It's not so great for what I'm doing here since I got the light gray wool, but it still works. It's still pretty visible whenever it comes to seeing it, so it's not that bad. I mean, all I gotta do is um, cover it with water and then just kind of just delete the glowstone. And it, it is really annoying. I've never really understood why it's that way on Minecraft whenever it comes to filling like water in. Why you can't just like... I mean, I kind of understand it. You do need, kind of need to put water on a surface to um, get it to like fill. But, uh, I mean, it would be cool if there was an easier way to like just just take water across where you, where you want it at. I don't really know how they would do that. It's kind of hard to explain myself on how they would do that. It's just an idea for the future. Oh, Minecraft is working. Anyways, oh, one thing I forgot to mention. I, I, I really want to thank you guys for 50 subscribers. I'm at 50 subscribers. I'm really proud of that. It's, it's, it's a great start to YouTube. I'm hoping that my fan base will uh, increase in the future, especially whenever I start, you know, getting some good quality recordings out. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with 50 subscribers at this point. I, I really do want to thank you guys for that. Um, you know, the more the more uh, popular my channel gets, the more people will see my work, and the you know the more people I can help out there that want to build stuff like this. So for those of you who have subscribed, uh, you know, I, I, I really, really appreciate it. Um, these animals get in the way, it's really annoying. Just fill in all this water on the outside. All we have to do... Alright, there we go, um, got that filled in, now all that's left to do with this Cool is to break the glowstone. I always hate going under like this. Uh, that's weird. Did I break that? Maybe I did. Really weird. Mod controller, please. Can I have a mod controller, please? Probably not. <laughs> I will never stop wanting a mod controller for Minecraft. I don't. I'm not someone. Well, I'm not. Even, I'm not someone who would use a modded controller on Call of Duty. I'm not even a person who plays Call of Duty, really. Um, I used to play a lot of Call of Duty. I don't anymore, just because I'm kind of tired of it. I, it seems like the same thing every year to me, and you know, it just really gets old. And you know, I didn't really. Just Call of Duty just seems like a game. That it, it got it got me frustrated whenever I played it, and it's just it's just for the best that I don't play it. Yeah, I don't. I, I just don't really like Call of Duty that much, except for zombies. Zombies is always fun. I'll do zombies every once in a while with my friends, but as far as Call of Duty goes, I'm just I'm not into it anymore. So I wouldn't be using a mod controller for like, uh, you know, whatever you guys. Do your modded controllers whenever you use them on Call of Duty. Do that drop shot or um, rapid fire pistol. I would use it for Minecraft. I guess I'd be using it for good. I uh, I wouldn't call it cheating. I mean, it doesn't feel like cheating. It's Minecraft, but some people might. Something's dying. I have no idea what was just dying. Sounded like a cow was dying. Push this will be faster. Pull. 
recordings. They, they, it really, the time that elapses during a recording really does not seem like the time in reality. Like, like before you know it, like, you're, you've recorded 30 minutes. It's crazy. Uh, okay, I've just about got this. And we can do a little bit more work. I'm not going to do all the work on camera. I'm just giving you guys a little bit of ideas for what you can do on the outside. And I'll finish the rest on my own time. I'll just get done what I get done here. Alright, we got the, um, got ourselves a nice pool here. And what I want to do is just kind of, um, raise, raise it above the, uh, the ground here. So it's elevated. Because the, most of the rest of the ground is going to be, like, bricks. So, um... I just want like this part on the outside of the pool to pop out more, so that so I'm just gonna elevate it a little bit above the pool on the edges, just so that you know. Gosh, chickens really look like ducks on this texture pack. That's kind of funny how they did that. And they they're called chickens, but they obviously look like a duck. See, see, it wants to freaking. He wants to swim in my pool now. See what you've done? Texture pack. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we got this pool. Um, some of you guys might wonder how I do my palm trees. Um, I'm, I'll do a quick palm tree real quick so I can kind of show you guys how I do my palm trees. It's really simple actually. I have a, I, I have a different method for making palm trees. Normally I just take a fence post up like that. And then I get some jungle leaves, and I just backed out of it. Jungle leaves, and I put one in the middle, and I just make a couple of rotations going around. So I start out with this three by three square, and then I go with it around some more, and it turns out to be this five by five square. And what I do is I delete three on the outsides of each side, leaving those corners, and then delete one on the insides, leaving those corners so it looks like that. And then I come down here, bring it down, and I just kind of like corner it down like that on each side of the palm tree. It starts to look a little bit more like a palm tree, but that's not it. I take this out three, I, de I take it down one and then delete that. And I do that on all sides. And... Hopefully, well it should, should look like a palm tree. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's how I do my palm trees, if you guys were wondering. Um, they are a kind of a difficult, not really difficult, but they're an in interesting tree to make on Minecraft, definitely. Let's see, what do I want to do now? You know, the only thing that le left to do is to really add, like, some more trees and bushes and stuff. But now that I think about it, this is going to need a little bit of, um, it's going to need a railing. Like, here, let me try just kind of making something up with a railing here. And I'll take this up and across the railing. And I'll, I guess I'll put, I'll have to put something underneath that so it doesn't look like unrealistic, like it's just floating. This is, this, <laughs> glass panes and these fences are annoying to me. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna take this all the way around so we get, you know, no one's gonna, we don't want anyone falling off the balcony. Which I'll, I'll just take it down like this on this side. All right. Um, I want probably I sh I don't know why I haven't done this, but I probably need to add some stairs here. It'd probably be for the best to add some stairs here so no one falls. Like, 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 like that. All right. Um, just so that these aren't floating, uh, let me get out me slabs here and I don't know just kind of I don't do something interesting with that 
um, and then just go underneath these and place them underneath. Just so that we have a little bit of realism here. Things aren't just floating. That's a... I hate, I hate when I... These diagonals like that. Okay. Slabs stay on the top. Alright. Mm, I guess I can just do that for that. Uh, that looks kind of funny right here. Maybe I should just maybe I should just do that. That's fine. Um, let me sleep real quick. And I'm thinking that we can add the diving board in. This is like the this is this is what I really like about the house on GTA is the fact that it has a diving board. And, and by gosh, I'm gonna make it on here. So what I want to do is I want to elevate this up. And I think a good diving board would be something like this, maybe a little bit more thickness to it. But yeah, um, I'm gonna get rid of this is some of these. I don't have any trouble going into it. And you know, just got this diving board and you just come up and you jump into the pool. Really fun. Okay, so what else do we want to do on camera? I see I made a tree. Uh, no, this this is just purely on designs. You guys can do on the outside what what you want to do. You can make instead of this grass if you want. You can put concrete in. Um, you can put bricks in. You can go halfway like I am and put halfway stone, halfway bricks. Do what you want with that. And you want know, to put a little grass in there. Put some seats. Other than that. Um, Oh, if you, if you, also, if you played the game, you'll know that there's like a little um, room out here to the right, which I'm not going to make, just because I don't want it to be exactly like it is on the game. I want my own version of it. But uh, over here, there's this little, this little building, and it's got like, um, let's see, what does it got in it? It's got like ping pong table and some weight, weightlifting area. So, you know, if you want to add that, you can. Or one thing that I just remembered is it, it kind of does something different over here where it just it just kind of does that as like this walkway out to the um, backyard but you can do that do whatever you want with it and I'm just gonna take this down as far as I think that it needs to go um, I think that'll be fine then I'll add some more grass over here, and um, you know I think that this will pretty much complete my on-camera work with um, this lake house, and I guess that ought to finish it off. And you guys can do what do with it whatever you want to. Um, so I guess that will be the end of this series. Um, like I said, next video is going to be. The first episode of Let's Build Michael's House. Very excited to do it. I hope you guys are excited to do it as well. And, you know, we're going to have some fun with that. We're going to get it done. We're going to do it right. So, I want to thank you guys for watching the video as always. Um, I want to thank you guys again for the 50 subscribers. It means a lot to me. Um, and if you did enjoy the video, Please hit that like button and subscribe for more parts. Michael's house coming up. It's coming. Wait for it. It'll be here soon. With so my final words are This has been Wolfstrike150 and Wolfie out. See you everyone.